Hey there, YouTube. Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Okami Let's Play. This is episode number 13. And last time, we got all of the canine warriors. Well, we got all of their orbs, or whatever that means. And we went back to see Princess Fusei, and it turns out, hey, we're the ones who get to uh, save the Gale Shrine from Crimson Helm. Imagine that. Who, who would have thought? It's gonna be us. So, I guess we know what we're doing in this episode. Um, so yeah, we are, we are, basically we have nothing else to do right now except go to the Gale Shrine. So we are gonna do that. And, uh, hopefully, I don't know how long the Gale Shrine's gonna be. It'd be cool if we can get the whole thing done in this episode. I somehow doubt it, but, uh, we'll do what we can. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and, whoa. What is up there? What is that? Oh, that's just... Just decoration, I guess. Alright, we're just gonna head on in then. Let's do this. Let's do the thing. Got some stairs. A lot more stairs than I thought. I figured we were just gonna be going into it. Oh. Have we already been here? I guess we came up here already once. Because we got that treasure chest. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thought I was going crazy for a sec. Turns out I was not going crazy at all. We're actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and head on in to the Gale Shrine. And see uh, what interesting adventures await. We are in the Gale Shrine. Seems very dungeony. Oh dear, that was... Oh, I can't move my camera. That's interesting. I don't know if I like that. Oh, hey, Susano, what up? Susano style sleeping monk hidden sake. <laughs> what the? Well, looky here. It's Susano again. <laughs> fucking bug. <clears throat> oh, spirit who defiles my sword. I am closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine... Where the beast makes its lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually, he said long and hard, find a way in. Saki. Lazy bum's talking in his sleep. Well, that he is. We can't go any further farther this way, so it seems like we need to just go here, and we got this... whatever the fuck you are. Hey! What's with this guy? I can see right through him. It's Yatsu. Hmm. Who are you? How is it you can see me? I am Yatsu, the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Long has it been since any have ventured this way. Earthbound spirit Yatsu. My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. While I am not a person, I am a dog. You appear to be a maiden most fair. Uh, if that's your thing, I mean, I'm not going to judge. <laughs> what could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you. Fair maiden? You talking about you, Furball? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> He's into bestiality. What's this? It appears the maiden is accompanied by a little booker. <laughs> what the fuck? I love this game, guys. <laughs> this is the village to meet its end at last. <laughs> little booger. He better not be talking about me. Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been cursed. This strangely frenzied man over here, there, is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance, but his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man, and would like to render what service I could, but when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susano said something about being possessed. And he's been acting all weird, like that time he helped Cushy. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Very well, you may pass, O oh savior of the Satomi house. 
Well, hey, looks like I got the keys to the front door. Wah bam. Blah. Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight headed serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of the beast's blood, so it's carnage. Okay. Never let your guard down. Oh, excuse you. I don't think so, my dude. Wait, wait, wait. The door to the Gale Shrine has opened. I must have finally communed with the gods. One day I will get credit for one goddamn thing I do in this game. The time has come, Val Spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. So Susano is just going to get played off as the hero this whole time. The whole time. No, Pops, wait. Oh, we're, we're still talking to you. Is not life dear to that man? Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. Is Yeah, well, I heard that already. Why are you making me talk to him again? Okay, we get it already. Now stop trying to freak us out. All right. I love how, like, the game prompts us to talk to him again. He says the same thing, and then Issen gets pissed that he said the same thing. <laughs> Just don't prompt me to talk to him again. <laughs> Unless it's there for the comedy, but, like, it's kind of a waste of time comedy. But that's fine. Whatever. It's still funny. Here we are, guys. We're in the Gale Shrine. Only took us five minutes. Uh, hmm. We got two options. Do we have a map of the place? We have, yes. This looks more like a dead end. That is likely to have some treasure. Let's see. Do we have some treasure over here? Oh god. We have a gate. Well, we'll pass through the gate and we'll fight the enemy, I guess. Oh, is it somebody new? It's a new thing. Uh-oh. What is this new thing? I don't like this new thing. It's a turtle. Turtle demon monkey. Turtle, mo turtle monkey demon. Okay. We gonna slash it? That doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, can we... Oops. Can we... Just do the... Do the slashy slash? Not particularly. Okay. Okay, he's got fire. I don't know what to do about the fire. Um... No, that doesn't do anything. Uh, we have... Oh, I see. Seems legit. Yeah, okay, Jesus. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked, my dude. Get ultra wrecked. <laughs> this weapon is insane. This weapon is absolutely insane. Oh, what's that? Uh, hey, this key has an exercising arrow on it. That we could use it to open doors sealed with evil power. Okay, cool. Oh, we have to carry it. Oh, that's that's yuck. Why we gotta carry it? I don't like to have to carry shit. Alright, well, we only have one other way to go. Yeah, this this weapon is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. It's so much more powerful than anything else. Not that I'm complaining, it's perfectly fine for Making quick work of some of these enemies to destroy otherwise. Is this a... What is this? It's a windmill. Check out this awesome windmill. Love to make this baby spin. There's not a breath of wind in the air. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to learn a brush stroke in here. I have a feeling we might be able to make wind at some point in this dungeon. What do we got over here? We have a save point. And it looks like we have something for the key. The key, Yeah, we have a door for this key. Perfect. All right, well, let's go ahead and just break the pots. Because if playing Zelda games has taught me anything, it's break the pots. Forget saving the world. We just got to break the pots. Okay, we got some feed. There we go, we're almost full up. No, we're not. What is it, two, is it 200 for the pouch? Yeah, I think it's 200. So we're close to half, halfway. Did those pots just come back? 
Or did I not break them? I don't know. But this, uh, this lock is really freaking out about this key, so let's go ahead and use it. Hello. Oh, sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> That's so weird. Alright, so we know there's a save point here. I'm not going to use it yet. We have plenty of time before we need to save. Oh, what up? Check it out. You can't even see the ceiling in this room. Wait a sec. I've seen this mark on the floor before. Have you? Can't use my... Okay. He says he's seen this mark on the floor before, which means... There's something somewhere. I saw the one, two, three. I definitely saw the one, two, three. Right? Like, one of them was... There was a... One, yeah. Two, three. Right. Oh, do I just have to... Wait. Do I have to do this? Like, just trace it? Or do I have to do this? Oh, I can't, go, I can't go that tight. I really, there's no way. We can try. I don't think, there, that cannot be what I have to do. There's no way I can go that, that tight. It's gotta be something else. Uh, let's see. What's, um, what else is there? I don't think there was really anything else to do, though. Oh! What's over there? Oh, uh, that's just a treasure chest. Can we drop down or will we die? That looks kind of bottomless. I'm going to assume that's instant death. We didn't examine this windmill. I can't make wind. At least I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that would do that. So... Oh. Okay, is there anything I can use... this water on? I mean, I could potentially put the torches out. Is that what I need to do? Maybe I need to do that. I don't know how to get down there and get the... get those treasure chests. But I don't imagine that the treasure chests are key to this puzzle. We can try to put this fire out. See if that does anything. It does. It puts the fire out. I mean... Worth trying something, I guess. Did we do a thing? Oh, it lights it up again. Okay. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer. I mean, I feel like there's got to be something we can do with that puzzle immediately. I don't think there's any... Well, there's nowhere else to go. That's the thing. I mean, we can, there's, there's that path, but I feel like we need to be able to make the thing spin to go that way. We can't do that yet. So this, it's gotta be, it's gotta be something we can do here. I just don't know what it is. Do I just have to just be really precise about dr drawing this, tracing this thing? I hope not, because I can't, I can't do it. So 
see a ceiling in this room. I think I've seen this mark on the floor before. Do I... Do I do it, like, at large? Am I just doing a bomb? Is that what it's asking me to do? Just make a bomb here? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, cool. That's <laughs> not quite what I was expecting, but that all right, cool. Cool beans. Where how do I how do I do my camera? I can never remember how I like zoom out the camera. You want to like do the thing? Do the thing, man. Do the thing where you throw shit at me. Here we go. And that, and back, and you're gonna die real, real fast, real fast. Yeah. There you go, dude. Fantastic. Oh, I had to do that too. Got another key. All right, so that's where I came from. These just seem like walls, yeah. Um, we have a burning chest that I can't do anything about. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay, fair enough. I, I, I get it, but how do I get water? Oh man, I'm still on fire. How do I put the fire out? I don't know how to put the fire out. Oh, okay. Jesus. Well, how do I get water? Is there a way that I can... Is there water somewhere? Like if I go out here, is there a way that I can see... Nope. See water? Because I can't just make water up here. Right? I have to get water from somewhere and then splash it up with my... Celestial brush. I think. Like, I can't just... What? Like, I can't... There's no... I don't have just make water appear out of nothing. Crescent water spell. Alright, yeah, we, we have to have water. Right. Yeah. 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 Bloom, cherry bomb, power slash, rejuvenation, and sunrise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there. There's nothing I have that works here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Good thing I don't take fall damage, huh? I just remembered I can go up another floor, can I? I can go up to the third floor. That'll probably be helpful. Okay, let's try that. Let's go up. There we go. And now I can go in through this door. Yeah, yeah, hello. We're figuring stuff out. It's taking longer than I would like to admit, but we're figuring stuff out. 
It's happening. Got another burning chest, though, and I don't see water anywhere. At least this time there's somewhere else to go, it looks like. I'm gonna have to use one of my holy bones, too, maybe. Oh, no, I just got a health. That's good. Can I... Oh, I can't go through here. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, okay. There's somewhere else to go. Let's go. Maybe the uh, burning chests are not part of anything important anyway. We gonna get a brush technique? We gonna be able to manipulate the wind over here? Is that what we're gonna do? Ooh. Hello. Looks like. What's going on? That's one big windmill. I saw it from down in the village, but I had no idea it was this big. Hey, what's that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Swirling round in front of the big windmill. Almost looks like wind, but it's black and foreboding. It's as if the wind were being forced in the opposite direction. Wonder if that swirling evil air is what stopped the windmill. Maybe that's why the divine wind stopped blowing. If so, it must be the work of that crimson helm. Wonder how we can get rid of that evil air. I mean, I guess we do we go in the opposite direction? I'm gonna say opposite direction. Haha! -ha, look at me! See? I knew that would bring the divine wind back. Oh, we gotta do it again, okay. Uh opposite. Okay, one more left. We gotta blow the rest of that evil air clean out of here. Wait, it's going... Oh, uh, hold on! Alright. I, I, I know, I wanted to see what direction it was going. There we go. There we go. Teach me brush technique. All done. Now that the divine wind's back... I bet the big windmill will... Oh! Oh dear. It sure is. Yes, yes, yes! Success. We didn't even have to fight Crimson Helm. It's starting to spin! Look how strong the divine wind's blowing. Sure hope this drives away the evil down in Kusa Village. Huh? Now what? Constellation, I bet. There it is. It's a lot of stars. What have we got? Oh, geez. We have... One there. And one... Excuse me. There. And one there. Boom! Teach me wind! Oh, beautiful horse with candle on back, or whatever that is. <laughs> You're a merry-go-round horse! And you can't beat a dog in a race. Kazagami! <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Ah, Amaterasu! Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazagami, god of wind, have walked a shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. I shall do that, Kazagami. I get new power. I bet it was the divine wind that brought the wind god back. Now you can use Kazagami's Gale Storm Rush technique. That sounds pretty bitchin'. Just draw the mark of Kazagami to create wind. Oh god, was that that, can that Kanji character? Let's try it out. Oh no, it's just... okay. It's just a little swirly. Hey, that windmill looks like, like a good target. Draw the wind mark like you did on that swirling evil air. Okay. Let's try to make that windmill spin. So we just do... what? That? Boom. 
Fantastic. Ah, what a refreshing wind. And that door opened with when the small windmill started spinning. This wind is nothing to sneeze at. You should try this brush technique on a variety of things. Ah, oh, the burning chests. We can put the fire out with wind. This is no time for us to rest on our laurels. Big windmills sending the divine wind down to the village, but that crimson helm still lurks somewhere in the Gale Shrine. And that serpent crystal Waka mentioned has piqued my interest. Let's turn this place upside down till we find both of them. Okay. Well then, I guess we've got things to do and stuff. Things and, oops. Things and how do we, there we go. Things and stuff and stuff and things. Treasure. Hello, we got a sun fragment. Collect three of these to extend solar energy by one unit. Cool, and that's without even using the praise. Interesting. That's good. Do we have a, speaking of praise, do we have enough praise to, um, no, I don't. I want to get another ink increase. But we are missing, we need like 16 more praise. All right. So we can use the wind on a variety of things. Such as burning chests with no water around, I bet. I bet, I bet. I bet, I bet, I bet. Give me the good news. Ha ha ha. Oh, fuck. Wait a sec. These treasure chests. I bet you could put the fire out without using water now. Yeah, but it just came back. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. How do I... Can I put myself out? Tell me I can put myself out. I can't. Fuck! I'm gonna die just because of... So it just goes out temporarily and I have to be fast. Gale Shrine map. Okay. Well, my ass is still burning. So I'm definitely going to have to eat up a holy bone. Yeah, I know I'm dying, but I, the fire's not going out. <laughs> there we go. Seems like we're in good shape now. We can go back down. Oh, of course, now I'm getting health in the fucking jars. So I wasted a goddamn holy bone. That's whatever, okay. Oh, so we have to fall all the way to the bottom. Okay. That's not annoying. <laughs> not in the slightest. What would give you that idea? So we have to go up to the second floor. So we can get that other treasure chest. Which I think is the only thing that was here on the second floor. Seemed like. Seemed like. There we go. Stray bead, that's it. That's something that I know I'm not going to be able to find all of. <laughs> Alright. So now we know we're good here. We can come on out here. And we can use the uh, the windmills, which I guess will change where the direction the bridge is face or whatever. Alright, I'm not going to bother with all those phases. But we have two windmills, so what happens if we change the direction of that one? Oh, I get it. You have the right idea, Amy. But I think you're making the wind blow in the wrong direction. You gotta send the wind blowing toward the windmill. Well, yeah, that's what I was trying to... Oh, I gotta do a cutscene first, sorry. Okay, can we do the thing now? Cool. There we go. Got brush tips. Alright, well, what do we got? We got brush tips. Where's my brush tips? Is it travel guide? Brush tips. I'm attempting to outline... Wow, I will attempt to outline a series. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, smaller cherry bombs appear, appear further away. Okay. Drawing from above makes it easier to place them where you lie. Yeah, that makes sense. Gale Storm's power is directly affected by the drawing's size. Size does not affect the amount of ink. Huh. Okay. Well, that's nifty. So, we have a whole new area up ahead. With another save point, looks like. Ooh, can we jump up on here? We can. We can. Alright. Oh, look at all this. Look at all of this. Wow. This seems really complex. Oh, nope, I missed. Okay. So, alright. Well, we have this. Let's get this first. Oh, shit. Check out those massive hanging scrolls. Looks like they're enjoying that wind you brought back to life. But be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. Huh. Now I want to go here, and I want to just get this treasure chest. Fuck. There we go. Got a pearl. Bitchin'. Okay. So we have a few other things here that we can deal with. So we've got, where was it? Well, there's that one. All right, hold on. Make sure I can see what we're doing here. We can go ahead and, uh, nope, what? Why not? There we go. Okay. So I want to get to that one first. Okay. So what do we have around here other than this burning chest? Nothing. We have, well, we have that. Okay. So he's got this burning chest. Got an infinity stone. Okay. Now can we make it back over there? So we can get up to that area, which is clearly what we're going to have to do. We got to see if we can get around here. We can, looks like. Okay, that's not too bad. We got a lacquerware set. All right. Perfect. So those are, like, really blowing now. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they do anything specific. Let's go ahead and get up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, are they something I can stand on? I see now what we have to do. Okay. So we want to make this wind go real big. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Got a wooden bear. And then we can go one more, one more time. So we want big wind. Big wind. Fuck. Really? Alright, I'll meet you when I get back up there. Okay, we are back here. I'm going to wait for this to fall. Yeah, there we go. We're going to do another big wind. Big wind. And we're going to not fuck up this jump this time. There we go. We're good. All right. Give me exorcism slip. And we can go ahead and hop on down. 
And oh, we have uh, we have some Mises. Let's feed the Mises. What do they want? Seeds? Yeah. Yeah, they want seeds. Give me that praise. Can I have 16 of it, please? I can have seven. That's, that's a start. We have another save point. We're not going to bother with that yet. I'm going to go on through here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big wind. Big wind. Big wind. What a, oh god. Going on to a different area now. Fair enough. Oh, this looks like an arena. This is the golden thing that's gonna save for me, right? Yeah, I think what I want to do though, before I do that, I know it kind of, I know it saves, I know it saves, but I want to go save. For real though. Just because I'm that player. <laughs> I'm ultra paranoid. And we definitely have enough time to fight this enemy. So, we will do that. For sure, we will go ahead and fight Crimson Helm. Big wind. Alright. Gotta let that ink come back, though. Let's go ahead and save. We'll go ahead and save. That way, just in case the worst should happen. Apparently we're deep in the Gale Shrine, which doesn't seem quite right to me, because we haven't been doing it this long. The Suit of Ruins took a whole lot longer. Not that that's a bad thing. But uh, here we go. I think we're at the boss. Seems like we're at the boss, so I want to I wanna let this stuff um, come back. And I may want to go ahead and use an Infinity Stone for the boss fight. That seems like it might be a good idea. That seems like it might be a good idea. Let's, uh, well, let's go through here, and we'll see what happens. There he is. Is that Crimson Helm? Huh? You see that, Emmy? Some kind of crystal looks like a berry or something. I bet it's the Serpent Crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. No way. No way. Does that mean we're going to go fight Orochi, like, now? Or, I mean, soon? That seems interesting. You know, the item that Waka guy was searching for. Sweet, we found it before he did. Uh-huh, I'm sure it's going to be that easy. Let's go get it. Let's just go get it. Hmm. Who didn't see that coming? Uh-oh. We're going to have to put out those fires? I mean, obviously, we're going to have to use wind. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Well, here's Crimson Helm. Crimson Helmet? Hey, it must be Crimson Helm! <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> he really does look like one mean dude. Better psych yourself up for this one, Furball. Alright, well... Oh! We got the power of the dogs. Power of doggo. What the heck? Aren't these the sodomy power orbs? They gonna protect us or something? I guess, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's Infinity Stone it up. Let's do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to wind him at, uh, for something. Oh. I see. Okay, well, I don't see, but... How about if I just hit him? We gotta... Do we have to just put him out? No, that nothing's happening. I'm not doing damage to him. He's not doing damage to me. I'm going to try to wind him again. Not doing anything. What if I just cut him? No. Wind. 
I don't know. So he's shooting fire. He's knocking all these poles down. He's shooting fire. Let me see, can I put out the No, there there is no fire. I put already probably already put out the fire. Do I have to get him to charge into all the poles? Is that what it is? Or do these poles come back? Ow. Not ow, actually, that didn't hurt. Seems like the poles... Are they coming back? They're not coming back. Okay, I definitely have to have him knock down all the poles. Oh, shit. That's okay, it's still not taking any damage. Alright. We're almost there. We almost have them all knocked down. Knock it down. Knock it down. What else we got? Any more? Is there any more? Yeah, there's one more. This one. Come on, dude. Knock this one down. There we go. They're all knocked down. Now what? Does that do anything? What does that do? Doesn't seem to do anything. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Do I try to blow them off the edge? No, there's no edge to blow off of. I don't know. I legitimately do not know what I'm supposed to do. There's no indication anywhere. Do I just, like, attack him? I don't do any damage to him. No. Oh. Oh. There we go. So I just, I hit him hard enough to knock off the armor. Or I hit him enough to knock off the armor? No. I'm not sure. How do I get the armor off of him? There we go. I guess we just hit him enough. We put out the fire with the wind. And then we can smack him up. Alright. Alright. I'm not taking any damage and I don't know why. Not that I'm going to complain about that. But... I'm not sure why I'm not taking damage. Alright, so the wind, I don't think the wind does anything. I think I just have to hit hit him enough. Well, let's put the fire out. You need to just put the fire out. Come on, dude, just stand still. Let me kill you. Okay, okay. Get rid of the armor. Put the fire out with the wind. And then we attack you, and you done die. Got him. All right, cool. Is that not it? Oh, that's not it. <laughs> um, now what? Oh. Well, that's different. Huh? Is he chickening out? After him, after him, Ami, quick! Uh oh, hello, Susano. Back, you cur! I'll handle this one. Charge! What the heck's he doing? He's gonna get sliced and diced. Time for some brushwork, Ami. Yeah. All right. Hiya! Rawr! Take this! Take that! And that! Man, you're so good at this, Susano. And to top it off... Now for some wind! There's the wind! Yes, wind. More wind. Alright. Big wind. How about big wind? Look at all that wind. 
Now you're talking. Wait, there's more. More big wind. Behold the secret technique. Wind of wrath. To be fair, he actually did cut him that time. <laughs> now I'm positive. Yeah, you did all of that by yourself, Susano. This is not my doing. At least he knows that. It's the gods. They toy with me. Will you never stop mocking me? You hear me up there. Are you happy now? Oh, why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendant? All I wish is to live in peace. Do you enjoy dogging my every step? Ha <laughs> ha, he said, he said dogging. He said dogging and I'm a dog. It's funny. You okay, Pops? Blast you gods. I don't want your power. This whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Enough of these legends and Nagi's descendant stuff. Now just leave me be. Oh, he's gonna turn bad. Or not. Uh, oh, what the heck's that? Yikes. <laughs> Big yikes. Oh no. Go, go away. Huh? The voice. One after the other. You're driving me crazy. Stop it. I don't want to hear about that now. Go away. Leave me alone. What is happening? Oh, no. Wow, well, is that, Amy? Probably something to do with Orochi, I would imagine. Ooh, but we have a new, uh, new weapon. Fuck that, I like the weapon I got. I obtained Divine Instrument Life Beads. Rosary that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. Huh? What up? Oh, fuck you, Waka! A bonjour! Oh, am I interrupting something? Now, oh, brother, it's that half-baked prophet again. Hey, that's... that's... What, this? It's the Serpent Crystal, and it's mine at last. You got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. We found it first. I'ma fight you. I'ma fight you. It won't do you any good. I mean, I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. You know, the barrier at the Moon Cave or Orochi's stronghold. Okay, you go do that. Hmm, you calling me, big boy? Haha, <laughs> keep your scales on, I'm coming. Hey, what's going on? Why are you going over to Orochi's place? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Time for another prophecy. I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing. Anyway, I must be off. Au revoir, baby. What a douche. Now you wait a second. Dispel the barrier at the moon cave. What the heck's he to? This is no time for your victory howl, furball. We gotta get out of here, and get on with our mission, quick! Alright, well, let's do that. I guess we're going to the moon cave. That seems pretty crazy. Because, I mean, that's, to me, that's where the, that's where the final boss is, right? Would you like to save the game? Of course! Because this, it depends on, well, it depends on what happens. We'll just save over this file. I'm gonna see what happens. Is it another cutscene? Because if it's more cutscene, I'll just keep going. More cutscene, okay. Princess Fusei. My, my favorite wolf and little bug have safely returned. When the windmill at the shrine began spinning, I knew it was you. 
a most refreshing wind began to blow down into our village. You have defeated Crimson Helm and, and restored the Divine Wind. At least I'm getting some goddamn recognition. Thank you, Princess Fusei. You are my favorite. The canine warriors rejoice, but they're a handful as usual. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. I too would like to give thanks to these heroic travelers. And Princess Fusei, last of the Satomi House, you have done well. What? You know Princess Fusei? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and head priest of the shrine. My lingering fears about Kusa Village kept my spirit here, but thanks to you I can now travel to the great beyond. Princess Fusei and the canine warriors still have much to learn, but I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. Bye, Yatsu. The fuck is that noise? Oh, it's Issen jumping. What a <laughs> what a mood killer. <laughs> what is it, you two? What were you looking at? Oh, she didn't see him. Huh? Oh, nothing. Anyway, Princess, there's no need to thank us. Just keep protecting the village and he as head priestess of the shrine. I know you'll have your hands full with those pesky canines. I have been rather feeble since the last head priest perished. But as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's a spirit. All right, we got 30 braids, bitchin'. All right. Well, we can talk. Let's continue your journey. I shall pray. All right. I don't think they're going to say anything important. All right, let's go ahead and hit up a save point. Um, I'm going to head over to Kusa Village, and we'll just go to the front of Kusa Village and save there. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Make sure that you are subscribed for more Okami HD. Oh, cutscene. Oh there, Furball. Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadowy creature with those heads really that monster? Our future is pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques, too. You don't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Nagi was the stronger of you two. Fuck off. <laughs> Maybe that legendary sake really packed a punch. Yeah, it must have been the sake. Ami, legendary sake's back at that village, isn't it? Isn't it about time for the village's annual festival? Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. You just want a drink. <laughs> it just might do us some good. Besides, a good festival's always fun. If I could get sake a little tipsy, then maybe... <laughs> Ami, I suddenly feel like a new man. Let's go. Alright, well next time, I guess, we're going back to Kamaki Village. And we're gonna go ahead... And take on the uh, the festival there, and get some sake from uh, Kushi. Hopefully, she has hauled that gigantic tub of water back there by now. Um, so yeah, good stuff. I I it's kind of seeming like we're starting to get ooh flowers. It's kind of starting to seem like we're getting to the end of the game. I don't really know. I still feel like there's got to be a way to get that. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll, we might do a little bit of exploring of Kusa Village next time. I just want to hurry and get to the save point now. Um, but maybe we'll do a little more exploring here. I don't know if there's anything new now that the wind is blowing. There may be. Um, doesn't really seem like it. But uh, yeah, next time we're going to go ahead and go to the festival. So I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>